yourself king be yourself be yourself queen be yourself be yourself king be yourself be yourself queen be yourself what's up everybody what's going on it's your man dr corbin one half of the ymc and me podcast and the other half Miss Santi Dean is not here with us this episode. She's out and about and being the busy bee that she is. So uh, I want to definitely give her a shout out. This episode is special, y'all. Very special episode. This episode has clips from interviews that I did during this year's Just fellowship delegation to cuba we went to cuba this year it was a great experience it was my first time out of the country and you know it's crazy to say that at the age that i am that it was my first time but i'm glad that my first time was that experience i'm glad it wasn't like on a resort or you know like i you know no shade to my resort people i know is you you work hard you play hard right but for the first time out of the country to be amongst the people really like genuinely in the uh uh culture it was a great experience so we're gonna share some of these clips and i also want you all to know that cuba isn't what it's painted to us okay i had a good friend of mine when i worked in workforce development back home in baltimore and she used to say corbin there's three sides to a story it's your side the other side and the truth so without further ado enjoy the clips okay what is your name and the organization you are a part of my name is Charmel Das, and I'm a part of the Youth Mentoring Collaborative. All right. And why is mentoring important to you? Uh, mentoring is important to me because mentors can help you, I mean, guide you through a certain journey and um, give you helpful feedback. All right. And in what ways can this global fellowship to Cuba make you a better advocate for social justice issues back home in the United States? This global fellowship allowed me to learn a lot more about the Cuban culture. So at home, I can definitely advocate for um, the for Cubans and share what I learned about their culture. Okay. And uh, here at YMC and Me, the podcast, we have a segment that we call Reveal Your Heal. And the last question is, have you ever advocated for anything related to mental health? If so, what? Um, at school, I founded a... Um, club called crocheting for cancer and its main aspect is to crochet items for and donate them to um, different hospitals but another aspect of it is um, sessions where um, we discuss different mental health topics while crocheting so it's sort of a fun little way to also advocate for mental health oh that's really creative well thank you for your time and enjoy your lunch you. okay so what is your name and the organization you are a part of um, my name is Sydney Smith. Um, I'm part of the YMC organization. Okay. And why is mentoring important to you? Um, it's important to me because it, um, I enjoy, like, helping people out and just, like, helping the environment, I feel like, is a part of mentoring. Okay. And uh, in what ways can this global fellowship to Cuba make you a better advocate for social justice issues back home in the U.S.? Um, I feel like it can make me a better advocate because, like, um, now, like, that I'm here in Cuba, I'm getting to hear like other people's perspective, which helps me, which helps me um, go back to the U.S. and have a lot more knowledge. Enjoy the rest of the trip. All right. Thank you. What is your name and the organization you are a part of? My name is Jada and I'm a part of the organization Grace Inc. All right, Jada. Why is mentoring important to you? Mentoring is important to me because when I was younger, I never had a chance to experience having a mentor. So when I experienced it for the first time at the age of 15, I felt hurt and that I could be part of a change for the better. And I want that for younger people as well so they can feel hurt, no matter if they're shy or what, because that's how I came into it, as being shy and nervous. And now I feel like I'm getting more outgoing. And that's what I would want for anybody else as me. 
In what ways can this global fellowship to Cuba make you a better advocate for social justice issues back home in the United States? Um, I say making cultural knowledge important will make me a better advocate. Like, like how it is in Cuba, it's like they all, they all as one, they talk as one and everything. Like, it's like we're all one. And then it's like their knowledge is the most important thing. And I feel like we should know more about our culture from where we're from. Thank you for that. And last but certainly not least, here at uh, YMC and Me, the podcast, what we like to do is the Reveal Your Heel segment. So I'm going to ask you, have you ever advocated for anything related to mental health? If so, what? No, I haven't. Okay. Well, thank you for your time, Jada, and enjoy your lunch. Okay. What is your name and the organization you are a part of? My name is Justice Skinner, and I am part of Youth Mentoring Collaborative. I serve on the board. All right. Oh, we got a we got a big shot. Hold on. Let me let me straighten up. I, I need my job. Hold on. Here we go. All right. Why is mentoring important to you? Mentoring is important to me because it gives a voice to the voiceless and encourages people to be part of their community further. All right. That's great. Question three. Senator Skinner, in what ways can the Global Fellowship to Cuba make you a better advocate for social justice issues back home in the United States? Great question. Um, So I think this trip has really shown me that social justice isn't limited to just back home. Um, It's definitely abroad and we need to be caring about people who may or may not look like us and like are going through different struggles as well. So and just hearing about just the hardships that they're having to go through here unnecessarily. So um, it's definitely made me want to advocate for this country once we get back home. All right. Here at YMC and Me, the podcast, we like to do a segment called Reveal Your Heel. So the last question I'm going to ask you, Senator, is have you ever advocated for anything related to mental health? If so, what? No, I don't believe I have um, directly advocated for anything related to mental health. I know um, when I was part of the 100, we did some workshops relating to that. um, But it's definitely something I would like to get involved in in the future. Okay, well, I'm going to say this, Senator. You being a board member of YMC makes you an advocate of mental health. So you have, good sir. And thank you for my part-time job. Thank you for having me. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, okay, we're back. We are back. And what is your name and the organization you are a part of, sir? My name is Charles Rice. I'm 21. Um, I am an upcoming student at Ursinus College in Pennsylvania. Okay, okay. Why is mentoring important to you? Well, mentoring is important to me because... um, you know, not only do you get to be a leader, but you actually get to learn from the people that you are leading. You know, you can only lead with love and understanding. And through that, you'll be able to build a bigger and better community. So I have another question for you, sir. In what ways can this global fellowship to Cuba make you a better advocate for social justice issues back home in the United States? Um, well, I think in order to in order to build, you know, a better place a better nation, a better community, you got to be able to stand, understand all aspects of it. So getting to learn the history from a different point of view, from a different standpoint, um, will definitely help coming back. All right. And here at YMC and Me, the podcast, we have a special segment we call Reveal Your Heel. Uh, so the last question I have for you today is, have you ever advocated for anything related to mental health? And if so, what? Well, um, in terms of mental health, I got a lot going on. I'll be honest. Um, I had a little bit of a depression phase, sophomore year of college, things of that nature. A way to get out of that was, um, you know, writing stuff down, doing poetry, making music, um, getting back into basketball too, shooting around, hanging out with my friends, um, reading. Reading helped a lot. I was reading um, If Beale Street Could Talk by James Baldwin. I still have yet to finish it, but so far it's really, really good. Okay, well, thank you for your time, sir. Enjoy that lunch, and please stop growing because you are (laughs) way taller than me. All right, we're back. So, good brother, what is your name in the organization you are a part of? My name is Nehemiah Desmond Powell, and I am a part of the YMC. Woo, YMC Records, coming soon. All right, second question. Why is mentoring important to you? 
Mentoring is important to me because I feel that as being somebody who can uh, elaborate to other people in the best way that I can, uh, it's important to show others that uh, you are there for them and being able to uh, help them grow as people to learn more about themselves and just be a better person. It helps a lot. Great, great. So another question. In what ways can this global fellowship to Cuba make you a better advocate for social justice issues back home in the United States? Being in Cuba has helped me to see that um, an advocate is somebody who can go through knowing a lot of knowledge. Somebody who um, will go through the efforts to learn about the culture and learn about what you need to to be able to better advocate for like whatever your cause is. So here in Cuba, we're learning about the Cuban culture. So when we go back to the United States, we are going to be able to better help those in Cuba and try to build better relations. Cool. Okay. Here at uh, on the uh, YMCME podcast, we have a segment called Reveal Your Heal. So my last question for you is, have you ever advocated for anything related to mental health? And if so, what? I have not participated in any uh, mental health organizations, but I would be... Uh, I would want to try to be a part of one. Oh, you want to know something good? You're a part of one. Oh, I am? Yep, YMC. Okay, okay. All right, we're out of here. <laughs> All right, so what is your name and what school are you attending? My name is Michelle Guerrero, and I'm a future Spartan at UNCG. Okay, okay. Very, very proud. Um, why is mentoring important to you? I feel that mentoring is important because it allows us to teach others about what matters. As someone with a younger brother, it's very important for me to be able to teach him the rights and wrongs and that it's okay to make mistakes. So if we can do that for others that necessarily didn't have that, then we're already beginning to create change. Okay. In what ways can this global fellowship to Cuba make you a better advocate for social justice issues back home in the United States? One of the main ways this global fellowship has allowed me to be a better advocate and should allow others is by having the first-hand experience and knowledge in Cuba. Getting here, I thought what everyone thought, that it's a scary place. You know, my parents were feeding that fear to me that, you know, come back, don't die. But being here, I found out that the people here are very humble. They are welcoming and empathetic. To me, more human than the people in America. And that's something I can stand by because I've been here and I am here. Cool. On our podcast, YMC and Me, we have a segment called Reveal Your Heal. So the last question I have for you is, have you ever advocated for anything related to mental health? If so, what? Yes. So I am part of Soul Space, S-O-L meaning sun. We are part of an organization that is helping Durham black and brown youth focus on their mental health and culture. We're creating a space that makes them feel comfortable and that's welcoming outside of school. It's new. It's fairly new, but we're beginning it and we have been starting it since last year. And I've also worked with DPS and other organizations where we have talked about the construction and what a typical day would look like for students. Okay. Well, thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of your trip. Thank you for having me. Okay. So uh, what is your name and what organization are you a part of? So my name is Jacynthia Gray, and I'm a part of the Helping Hands and Stars organization through the Office of Equity Affairs in Wake County. Okay. Why is mentoring important to you? Mentoring is important to me because it allows students or people who are not at the level that you are see something that is attainable, but also it allows you to help them get to the aspirations that they have. Cool, cool. So in what ways can this global fellowship to Cuba make you a better advocate for social justice issues back home in the United States? Um, it makes me better for advocating the social issues back home because it broadens my awareness of the things that we don't talk about in the media and it also allows me to bring back other things that maybe most Americans do not know and expose them to the reality of what's going on not only in the states but also abroad cool all right so on the YMC and me podcast we have a segment called reveal your heel so for your last question I have to ask have you ever advocated for anything related to mental health if so what so yes I've advocated for mental health um not only in my family as a first generation college student 
that majored in psychology, but also an individual who works with children. My initial goal was to be a school psychologist, and instead I decided to go into the classroom so that I could have a greater impact on the students because I know that they weren't able to, They most of them didn't know who the school psychologist was. And so additionally, beyond, beyond that, I've um, did first aid training in mental health. I've did ACEs like the ACEs awareness training, just like first signs of struggling with mental issues, things of that nature. And as well as in my classroom and with my students personally, I advocate with them and help them work on their social emotional. Sounds good, Dr. Gray. We speaking it into existence. Okay. What is your name and what school are you a part of? Uh, my name is Sognik Das and I'm a part of Raleigh Charter High School. Why is mentoring important to you? So, yeah, mentoring is um, very important to me because right now uh, I'm only 14 years old, okay, and I'm still very clueless, really, about the world. See, like, I came to Cuba right now without my parents for, like, the first time, and I was, like, the first day, I was, like, panicking, I'm not going to lie. And I feel like that's something that as time, like, progresses and I meet new people, as they mentor me, They'll sort of mold my character into someone who be, who's like feels more comfortable around people, um, more confident, and um, other things like that. Yeah, like I could name like many people right in this group right here who uh, I really see as like someone who I want to become when I'm like at least 20 or 30, and the kind of like personality traits they have. So to be around those people, that definitely like improves and molds my character. Yeah. In what ways can this global fellowship to Cuba make you a better advocate for social justice issues back home in the United States? I think what it teaches me the most is that you shouldn't blindly listen to what the media tells you. I think the U.S. is a country with all the different political affiliations that people have and political views that it's very hard to find one sort of media outlet that isn't totally biased towards one side. So I think that if we remain like open minded and that's what Cuba has shown me that if I remain open minded that I can truly find the truth in matters instead of just blindly listening to what others say and then not really taking the time to analyze things myself. And this trip to Cuba shows that, you know, there's so much more to the world than what the media are telling you. And you got to explore and see things for yourself. And uh, this last question is a part of a segment that we do here at uh, YMC and me. Um, It's called Reveal Your Heal. And this question is, have you ever advocated for something related to mental health? If so, what? I mean... No, not that I recall of really. To be honest, I'm someone who like struggles with my mental health myself. So I think it's very, very important. And I look up to any person who advocates for their mental health. But I think that unless I can like totally have good or like have decent mental health myself, I don't think I'm in a situation right now to advocate for someone else's mental health. Yeah. So I would think focusing on my own mental health first. And then I would definitely, definitely advocate for mental health. Yeah. Well, that is fair, good sir. Thank you for your time and take care. So tell me, what is your name and the organization you are a part of? My name is Jaleesa Aguilar and I am class of 2028 at Duke University. Why is mentoring important to you? Mentoring is important to me because um, as a first generation uh, low income student, I never felt like I had access to certain resources that um, other students have had. So when I first got a mentor, um, she really helped guide me into realizing that I have these resources accessible and that, you know, I'm worthy of them because sometimes as first generation students, it can be hard to feel like you're worthy of something, especially because you've never had it. So um, my mentor really helped push me through that and she helped me find my voice and find more confidence in um, advocating for myself and finding these resources. Third question is, in what ways can this global fellowship to Cuba make you a better advocate for social justice issues back home in the United States? I think being in Cuba has really just made me realize how passionate someone can be when there's something going on. I think in the U.S. we tend to get so caught up in everything else that's happening that we forget to really go back to what the main issue is and that's that we're all human beings and we all deserve to be treated as such so i think here in cuba they really value the worth of one human being and back at home i'm going to take that mentality with me and um i think that's one of the most important things that i've gotten from this trip 
Okay, and last but certainly not least, and this is a segment that we do here with the YMC and Me podcast, and this is entitled Reveal Your Heal. The last question is, have you ever advocated for anything related to mental health? If so, what? Um, yeah, so in the Hispanic community, there's a lot of stigma that surrounds mental illness and receiving help for mental illness. And I think that um, there's also not a lot of Spanish mental health um, care professionals. So one thing I've advocated for in my community has been getting rid of that stigma and making sure that all Hispanics can feel like they have option to go to therapy or receive certain treatment without feeling Feeling like they're um, crazy or like it means something else besides I just need help and I deserve that help. So I've written several essays about stigmas and certain values that we hold in Hispanic communities and how we can kind of break those down so that we can have better access to mental health. And I've also talked to several of my Spanish professors about where I can get those published and how I can continue my work in that to eventually um, you know, get rid of that stigma and ensure that everyone, not just the Hispanic, but all black and brown people have access to reliable and affordable mental health care. And that's also why I plan on going into psychology. Well, that is great. Thank you for your time and take care. What is your name and the organization you are a part of? All right, my name is Ken Branson, and I am a part of Basement to Balcony Incorporated. I'm a filmmaker and storyteller. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So why is mentoring important to you? Mentoring is important to me because I believe in the slogan or the phrase, each one teach one. And also each one reach one. Um, If it weren't for people like maybe Rick Crank, since we're here with him, you know what I mean? Uh, He gave me a leg into the industry several, several years ago by bringing me on as an intern um, in his studio when he had one. Of course, he wasn't afraid to share the knowledge that he had possessed. Um, it's because of people like Rick Crank that I started doing event printing while I was making prints on site, especially events. Um, and I was able to take that knowledge, man, and make hundreds of thousands of dollars for it as a result. So uh, mentoring is important to me so that somebody can pick up the legacy and keep, you know, continue to carry it on. That's amazing. Um, in what ways can this global fellowship to Cuba make you a better advocate for social justice issues back home in the United States? I think I believe the the delegation has helped me to become more self-aware as an individual. And I believe if I'm a better person, then I can be better for somebody else. So um, I guess on a on a on a, uh, a, a personal level, it has made me look within. But I think one of the one of the biggest things that I've learned thus far is to really find out the truth behind some of the stories we're hearing between the relationship between United States and Cuba, right? I want, I really want to look at some real laws to find out about the embargo, to learn more about the embargo so I can learn how I can be uh, an advocate for the Cuban people. Okay. And on the YMCME podcast, we have a segment called Reveal Your Heal. So your last question that I have for you, sir, is have you ever advocated for anything related to mental health? And if so, what? I'm a huge advocate for mental health. Um, I think everything goes back to me first. Um, I don't know that there is a certain aspect of mental health, but I do believe the self-awareness, becoming more self-aware as a parent has helped me to become more self-aware as an individual with my work that I do, client facing, um, more aware as a friend. So I'm able to be an advocate in a way that I think that we all should look within. When we hear mental health, we hear that we got to sit, you know, we got to go be diagnosed with something like that. Um, But I think mental health is just like any other type of health. It's just like health of the brain, health of, you know what I'm saying, the innermost parts of you, like the pieces that you don't ever let nobody see, what's really happening behind closed doors or what's really happening when nobody knows what's going on with you. I think that's the true definition of mental health. I hope I answered your question. You definitely did, sir. So, thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of your trip. 100%. Appreciate it. We would like to hear from you. If you're interested in being on the YMC and Me podcast, contact us at info at youthmentoringcollaborative.org. Whoa, be yourself, King. Be yourself. Be yourself, be yourself, be yourself Queen. Be yourself. Be yourself, King. Be yourself. Be yourself, queen, be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself.